Hi YouTubers and welcome back to Duck in the Fog. My name is Mike and this is the Holtz Mission Channel. Today we're going to do some new tool acquisitions. I got two to show you today and uh, the first is a sign table uh, where you can bolt your vise down to, a sign to it and uh, bolt it to the table of your uh, either your mill or um, the grinder or whatever machine you want to want to do that with. So let me uh, get the camera mobile here. I'll do it without having to upset the apple cart, and uh, we'll show you some more. All righty, here we go. This is the new tool acquisition. This is a sign table, and uh, let me get in close here. Made by Carl Miller in Karl Markstadt, which is now called back to its reformer name of Chemnitz. And right here you can see the base of uh, for the sign plate. Um, got reference surfaces on the front here and here. And T slots on the top and a backstop. So when you tilt the table your work doesn't fall off. And then you have two vertical uh, on, the, on the vertical side you have two slots going that way and up underneath here I'm thinking there used to be a roller on this for distance so that you could put uh, um, gauge blocks in there to uh, set your angle now this thing does have uh, a scale on it to where you can to get it rough and uh, I don't have the bolts loosened right now, so it's a little bit hard to demonstrate how it tilts, but I'm sure you get the idea. So that's this one new um, acquisition, and on to the next. Alrighty, here's the other new tool acquisition, and we have here a rotary table. Picked this up on eBay not too long ago. I mean, I've had it a few months now, but haven't been doing a whole lot of videoing lately, so I'm catching up on some of this footage, just starting to learn how to use the software. And so it's taking me a little while to get around to getting the new acquisitions all documented. Um, this is a 400 millimeter diameter table made by Hahn and Kolb in Stuttgart. Let's get in there. Right there. And this guy is so accurate, it has on the divisions here, uh, it says somewhere, oh yes, two seconds. And then it has divisions on the edge of the table itself. The other thing that it, this thing interestingly has is a sight glass and it's got oil in it. The oil's a little low right now. Can't really see it. Let's see if we can turn this into the light. Yeah, there we go. And I'm not sure what type of oil it takes. I'm guessing it takes 30 weight. If anybody out there knows what it takes, let me know. I'm, I'm all ears because the manufacturer, even though they're still in the business, Actually, they're just a tool dealer now, and they don't actually manufacture their own tools anymore. They don't have any documentation on this thing. And given how tight it is, I'm real reluctant to tear it apart and find out. As you can see right there, gear ratio of 90 to 1. So this thing is super accurate. I still need to get the division arms so that I can use it as a divider, dividing head. But uh, other than that, beautiful piece of equipment for very little money. I was bidding on a 12 inch, a 300 millimeter table and got outbid and this one came along and I got this one for less money than the old beat up 300 millimeter I was bidding on. Go figure. Well YouTubers, that concludes today's episode of Duck in the Fog, new tool acquisitions. Hope you enjoyed what you saw and uh, if you've got any ideas what uh, Kind of oil I need in that rotary table. By all means, leave uh, you, you know. Let me know in the comments section below, and uh, 
then we can figure out how to get this thing filled up. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this today's uh, Duck in the Fall. See you later.